Good evening, InfoWars viewers. It's May the 10th. I'm here with Paul Joseph Watson, and we're at the Grove Hotel in Watford, which is in England. And this is the scene for the Bilderberg Conference coming up on the 8th of June, just a, about a month away. Paul, good evening. Evening. Good to be here. Yeah, we've basically arrived about three hours ago. We've had a walk around the grounds inside the hotel basically being everywhere. It's a huge sprawling hotel. The grounds are massive. They're going to have a police operation in force which is taxpayer funded and actually an article out of the Watford Observer that came out today relates how the Mayor of Watford is complaining about how the protesters at Bilderberg are potentially going to be violent even though there's been no violence whatsoever at Bilderberg protests since they started, since they started gaining traction several years ago. Um, the police have said they'll facilitate peaceful protests. The problem being, as we've shown you in other YouTube videos, there's basically no access for car parking or areas which people can congregate to protest. There's only thin little strips of land. It's going to be very difficult to get anywhere near the hotel. There's a security exercise around the whole hotel. Um, so it's not going to be as easy as it was in Switzerland when we were camped out right across the road from the hotel and of course the grounds were not as extensive. Here at the Grove they are massive. But now we're going to go through the agenda, what they're likely to talk about at Bilderberg 2013 from our inside sources. Of course the late great Jim Tucker uh, was key in identifying this location as the site of the 2013 Bilderberg conference. Um, and his sources live on through other people and we've got people on the inside as well that give us indications, at least early indications, about what Bilderberg will be discussing. So we're going to go through it briefly now. In reverse order, they're going to talk about the threat caused to social stability by declining living standards and wealth. So we've seen in Europe over the past several years riots. That's going to continue because the economy is going to continue to falter, there's going to be no recovery in 2013, it's going to stagnate, so they're worried about riots. Of course, we've got DHS in America preparing for riots right now. They're going to talk about advancing so-called smart cities to spy on every aspect of public behaviour, which of course we've seen in America with IntelliStreets, those are the light poles that record your conversations. Um, of course, we've seen the 1010 plan and the technocracy, the cry freedom ghettos that they plan to install under the guise of smart cities which in reality are surveillance technocracies so they very much plan to advance that agenda at Bilderberg 2013. They're also talking about cyber resilience which in their eyes they sell it as cyber security of course we know all the cyber attacks have actually been launched by the United States and Israel the main ones such as Flame, Stuxnet etc so they're going to push it under the guise of cyber security but it's actually internet censorship once again. They call it digital wildfires. So they want to put out the digital wildfires. And how are they going to do that? By creating what Bill Clinton called for several years ago, a ministry of truth for the internet. And that's basically a either a UN or a government controlled body that vets and verifies every piece of information put out on the internet before allowing it to be published. Of course that sounds like a complete censorship draconian nightmare and it will be eagerly resisted but that's what they're moving towards under this digital wildfires idea. They can't bear the spread of information on the free internet. They're also going to be talking about the manufacturing revolution of 3D printing which of course we saw in the news yesterday the shutdown of Defence Distributed, the manufacturer of the 3D gun, the US government has now basically shut them down completely and indications are that Bilderberg will discuss the revolution of 3D printing and ways to control it and prevent the democratisation of production because it's another thing they're very concerned about. Having that kind of technology in the hands of the general public makes them more free makes them more prosperous so they want to control it they want to regulate it by copyright and other means so they're going to be talking about 3d printing according to this inside source they're also going to be talking about the threat of a global pandemic caused in part by rising resistance to antibiotics 
which of course given the behavior of some of the pharmaceutical companies like Baxter who release bird flu virus and other viruses into the general public with little concern whatsoever then the finger of suspicion very much falls on the pharmaceutical industry itself which is routinely represented at Bilderberg so they're worried about they're worried about a global pandemic when the pharmaceutical industry has in the past been behind those pandemic threats by releasing accidentally the bird flu virus as in the case of Baxter geopolitically they're going to be talking about arming the Syrian rebels of course in Switzerland in 2011 they talked about finishing the job in Libya three months later it happened they armed the rebels the rebels went into Tripoli killed Gaddafi got the job done for the globalists that of course led to the Benghazi incident and that whole blowback because they were arming and funding al-Qaeda terrorists just as they are now in Syria so basically they're going to talk about arming the Syrian rebels carving up the country and toppling President Bashar al-Assad that's going to be very much on the agenda in the three months after it's discussed at Bilderberg also Iran of course the path to Persia goes through Syria Kissinger is eagerly pushing uh, an Israeli attack on Iran's nuclear facilities and he basically wants that within a three-year window so expect more pressure to be heaped on Iran and they're going to discuss again attacking Iran's nuclear facilities getting it done within the next three years that's going to be on the agenda uh, with regard to the economy we're talking about increased inflation even runaway inflation in Europe we're talking about more aggressive powers of tax collection we're talking about increased power gathered by central banks under the excuse of bank reform we're talking about things like this which of course happened in Cyprus which was the outright theft 40% from people's bank accounts who earned over a hundred thousand euros that has now been announced as the template for the entire EU so I expect them to talk about that more bailouts to prop up the euro Slovenia is going to be the next country to be bailed out again minimal growth in 2013 stagnant economy and then re with regard to the EU of course British Prime Minister David Cameron has promised a referendum on Britain leaving the EU if he's re-elected they're not going to allow that if they can because of course Bilderberg were behind the creation of the euro single currency they were talking about it as far back as 1955 um, and they in fact Etienne Davignon Bilderberg steering committee member bragged about it in 2009 he bragged that Bilderberg created the euro single currency said it was the brainchild of the Bilderberg group that was in the EU Observer so this rise of UKIP in the United Kingdom the backlash against the European Union and the threat that Britain will leave the EU is going to be very much on the agenda and that is a summary of what we know they will talk about from the early indications at Bilderberg 2013 here at the Grove in Watford so in the next video we're going to go through some of the background of the Bilderberg group uh, but that is the Bilderberg agenda as far as we know so far they're going to talk about other things um, it remains to be seen how much emphasis is placed on these subjects but we know that those are the early indications so this is Paul Joseph Watson with Infowars.com and we'll be back with more videos stay tuned